Bravo's Vanderpump Rules is going a major shakeup with the firing and exits of many of its cast. On December 5th, Jax Taylor announced on Instagram that he and his wife, Brittany Cartwright, would not be returning for season 9. Back in June, the network fired Stacey Schroeder, Kristen Doubt, Max Boyens, and Brett Caprioni for their racially insensitive remarks. In light of all these changes, we've rounded up your favorite VPR cast members. Due to the ongoing pandemic and the shutdown of restaurants in Beverly Hills, Lisa Vanderpump's reality show is currently on hold. With so many uncertainties, the future of the program is unclear, and the production has been delayed after the temporary shutdown of Lisa's Sexy Unique Restaurant, which finally reopened in late September. In a statement to the Daily Mail on June 10th, the 60-year-old Bravo star confirmed she would be closing down her iconic eatery, Villa Blanca, after 12 years of business, adding that the Beverly Hills restaurant is closing up doors for good. Those of us who never miss an episode of Vanderpump Rules are all too familiar with Lisa's breathtaking mansion, which she dubbed Villa Rosa. According to Zillow, LVP and husband Ken Todd bought the five-bedroom, eight-bathroom, 8,801 square foot mansion for $11,995,000 in 2011. In June, Stacey Schroeder and Kristen Doubt were axed from the show after their racist actions came to light. The firings came after Faith Stowers, who appeared briefly on the show a few seasons ago, revealed that Stacy and Kristen called the police to report her for crimes she did not commit. Kristen seemingly bragged about the pair's actions in a tweet, and Stacy discussed the incident during a 2018 episode of the Bitch Bible podcast and acknowledged calling the police. We are like, we just solved a crime, she said at the time. We started calling the police. The police don't give up. During an Instagram live chat with Florabama Shore star Candace Rice, Stowers recalled when the pair tried to get the cops to investigate her for allegedly drugging men and stealing watches. There was this article in the Daily Mail where there was an African-American lady. It was a weird photo. So she looked very light-skinned and had these different weird tattoos. I guess this woman was robbing people, and they called the cops and said it was me, she revealed. Shortly after Stowers' claims made headlines, both Stacy and Kristen apologized, adding they did not anticipate the impact their actions could have caused. Bravo later confirmed that the network had cut ties with the two women. In the wake of the controversy, the Straight Up With Stacy podcast host lost a number of endorsement deals. Stacy, who is currently pregnant with her first child, married Bo Clark in a secret ceremony in September. The newlyweds are currently expecting a baby girl, who will be born in early 2021. Katie Maloney has been candid about gaining weight since she first appeared on the Bravo hit when she was in her 20s. In an April Instagram Stories Q&A, the 33-year-old reality star, who has been body shamed for her size on the Bravo show, revealed that she has lost more than 20 pounds. Katie was responding to a fan who told her she looked amazing and asked whether she'd shed any weight. I have, and thank you. I've lost a little over 20 pounds. It feels good, she said. Another fan asked Katie for some tips, and she happily divulged. Initially, the Sir server said she never tried to diet, but was trying to cut out alcohol and sugar. She also made a doctor's appointment to check her thyroid, explaining, I was going to the doctor and getting blood work done. I think it's really important to check up on your health, because even though it wasn't a thyroid thing, I did discover that my glucose levels were pretty high, and that could have led to some maybe pre-diabetic problems. She then found a nutritionist who helped her understand how to eat for her metabolism, especially with being insulin resistant. Katie married Tom Schwartz in August 2016, and then tied the knot once more after realizing they were never officially married. Vanderpump Rules fans have seen the good, bad, and ugly sides of the pair's relationship throughout the show's run. It's all happening for Cena Shea. The Bravo alum is expecting her first child, a baby girl, with boyfriend Brock Davies in April 2021. The happy news came months after her heartbreaking miscarriage she suffered in June. The mom-to-be has previously said on her podcasts that the doctors had told her in the past that it would be close to impossible to get pregnant on her own because she has a very low egg count. She underwent two egg retrievals in 2019 and was getting ready for a third procedure in an effort to freeze her eggs prior to her miscarriage. Cena's boyfriend Brock, who has a son and daughter from a previous relationship, is a personal trainer and gym owner. The 30-something was also a defensive player and on special teams for Colorado State University's football team.
In a December Instagram post, Jax Taylor revealed that he and his wife Brittany Cartwright, who are currently preparing for the arrival of their first child, a baby boy, in April 2021, are not returning for another season of Vanderpump Rules. Jax had been on the Bravo series for eight seasons, with his wife clocking in at five seasons. The last eight years on Vanderpump Rules have been some of the most challenging, rewarding, and fulfilling years of my life. Although this is difficult to share, Brittany and I will not be returning for another season of Vanderpump Rules," the former Sir Bartender wrote on Instagram. We are excited to take this time to focus on our growing family and share with you our new endeavors," he added. While the couple released statements about leaving the popular program, Variety reported their exits came in the wake of Bravo axing Stacey and Kristen from the reality show in June. The pair were ousted for wrongfully calling the police on former co-star Faith Stowers. Jax, who previously cheated on Britney with Stowers, also accused her of committing crimes in a resurfaced tweet from December 2017. James Kennedy has been relatively quiet since the last season wrapped up filming. The DJ has now been sober for over a year and says he feels incredible. In July, he celebrated the fact that he had achieved one year of sobriety. Thanking his girlfriend and co-star Raquel Levice, he explained, Letting go of drinking was the best decision I ever made and I'm going strong. I don't miss the booze. I don't miss the feeling. I'm so grateful for everything now and life has become more beautiful in many ways. James then gave a shout out to his girlfriend for helping him through the process. Thank you to my rock Raquel Levice for getting me here. I couldn't have done this without you my love and thank you all for the support this past year," he lovingly wrote. And in case you missed it, 2020 has been a big year for James. The Pump Rules DJ is ready to be just James Kennedy, confirming in September he will no longer go by his nickname, White Kanye, and that he's officially retiring the moniker which pays tribute to Kanye West. Although Lala Kent and Randall Emmett had to postpone their long-awaited April 18 nuptials due to the coronavirus pandemic, the couple has a lot to celebrate these days. The VR cast member recently announced that she is expecting a baby girl with the Irishman producer. This will be the first child for Lala, while 49-year-old Randall has two daughters from his previous marriage to actress Amber Childers. The first-time mom-to-be recently spoke with Entertainment Tonight about expecting her baby girl with fiancé. I just pray to God that my baby girl does much better than I have done. Just is much sweeter, doesn't have a short fuse, like, that's what I'm praying for," said Lala. I literally pray to God every night, like, just give me a sweet little angel, because if she has my quick tongue, God help us all," she added. The 30-year-old also discussed the possible changes she might want to make in her life once she has her daughter. This includes the possibility of leaving Vanderpump Rules and altering her behavior towards her classmates. But a bundle of joy isn't the only major life event Lala has reached lately, as her fiancé shared a look at her most recent milestone. Achieving two years of sobriety, the reality star has previously said that her drinking spiraled out of control following father's death in April 2018 after a stroke and a car accident. Newcomers Max Boyens and Brett Caprioni made their debut on the series in season 8, and now, their time on the show has already come to an end. In the since-deleted tweets, both cast members used the N-word on multiple occasions, and Max wrote a tweet advocating for violence against Asian people. Following the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, Bravo decided to clean the house after their past racist tweets from 2012 and 2013 resurfaced earlier this year. Shortly after they were cut from the cast, Lisa Vanderpump released a statement to Instagram in which she condemned all forms of cruelty, racism, homophobia, bigotry, and unequal treatment. Max later apologized for his racist tweets, saying, I'm an adult now, and I cringe even thinking that I said those things. Brett was also given a platform to apologize on the show. It wasn't okay then. It's not okay now, he told viewers. Since purchasing their $2 million farmhouse-style home in early 2019, Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox have slowly but surely been furnishing the five-bedroom, five-and-a-half-bathroom home. But now, fans will be happy to know Tom and Ariana's house has plenty of furniture. We're fully furnished, Ariana told BravoTV.com back in January, and since then, the couple has given us peeks at some of their custom pieces, including a modern breakfast table, brass and navy velvet chairs, and gray velvet island stools. At a total of 4,500 square feet, the farmhouse-style home has plenty of space for the TV couple to entertain their fellow cast members. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.